Yeah, okay. Dye my hair pink again. We all knew it was gonna happen. Just took me a while to figure it out. Okay, so I've got a lot to get through. I have like a list of things to uh, tell you guys. I just got back from Chicago. I'm still very jet lagged. So you may have noticed there's been like a bit of a lack of uh, content around all of my channels. Basically it's because I'm doing a bit of a switcheroo. So I'm gonna be using my main channel only for like serious videos. It's gonna be like my portfolio, I guess. I just wanna do video essays on there. So hello, this is where I post like regular content now. This is probably the last video I'm ever gonna film here because I'm moving into my new place next week. And that's kind of one of the reasons I dyed my hair. I was like, hey, I'm moving into my own place, so let's dye my hair. So I'm very excited to move into my new place, as you can probably tell, but I'm also so busy because I'm trying to pack. I'm finishing up the last edits of book three at the moment. We're doing the proofread, just like fixing all the tiny errors. So I'm just so busy. <laughs> and then I whisked off to Chicago for Star Wars Celebration as well. So I'm packing a lot into a small amount of time. So I basically just put YouTube on the back burner. I know a lot of people worry about not being able to like come back to YouTube, but I'm not really worried about that. Like I can come back whenever. You can just come back when you want to make a video, you know? Super important. <clears throat> I'm doing one exclusive paperback event. event for Princess in Practice, which is book two. We're doing it in Birmingham because we always miss Birmingham and we thought if we're gonna do one exclusive paperback, let's try and get to a place where we usually miss. So please try and come to that. It would be really nice to see everyone. And in my opinion, the paperback is way nicer than the hardback. Or even if you don't come, buy a copy of my books because then I can keep writing books, which is the thing I love to do. Yeah, I know Birmingham's a bit of a tricky one. Do try and come if you can, because it's gonna be like a really unique event. We've got some like rows of merch coming and uh, <laughs> it's really cool. And people who come to the Birmingham event will be the first to get to see it. So you should come. Oh, and there is gonna be a book three tour. So don't worry if you can't come to the Birmingham one, but do try and come to the Birmingham one. Also just thanks everyone for being so supportive of the book series. It's really weird. It was like two, three years ago I announced it and yay people like them thanks <laughs> i don't talk much about writing on my channels but book three was really hard so many important things happen in it there's a lot of big reveals a lot of awful things happen to <laughs> some of the characters no spoilers it's the halfway point you know it's book three or five so i really struggled with it and it's one of the reasons i haven't been making a lot of content i had to put all of my focus and energy onto book three i had to get it right and i think we've got it right it's it's all good. I'm very excited for people to read it. Yeah, this is the big one. What I'm hoping, but I'm not I'm not gonna guarantee this, is that once I move into my new place, obviously I'll like vlog the decorating process and stuff, uh, everything's gonna chill out and I can start actually making <laughs> videos again. Cause right now I don't I don't really have a place where I live. I'm just I'm just surrounded by stuff in my old bedroom at my parents house I just YouTube is not a priority right now but hopefully that will change once I move in so that's the hope anyway what I really wanted to talk about was Star Wars Celebration <laughs> Star Wars Celebration was a long time it was about five days almost a whole week so Disney UK took me and my friend Ellen out to Star Wars Celebration in Chicago if you're not familiar with it Star Wars Celebration is basically like a huge Star Wars convention that happens every year I think it used to be every two years, but um, every year. They have these huge panels and you find out all the information about the new Star Wars stuff coming out. And the really big one they had this year was the episode nine panel. So we got to find out the title of episode nine and we got to be the first one to see the trailer. <laughs> I tried to capture the atmosphere in the room for episode nine. I don't know if you guys saw that on Twitter and Instagram. We we got there really early because we wanted to make sure we got a seat. So I drew the crowd because I was like, I don't think a picture is gonna get across like what it feels like to be in this room with these people who love Star Wars so much. I was like, am I gonna vlog Star Wars Celebration? Because it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to go again. But the problem is like all of the panels that you go and see go online and they live stream them and then they're online forever. So it just feels like what's the point in vlogging the panels because you guys can just see them anyway. Like I'll just link them below. And I don't feel like I talk about Star Wars much on this channel because I always just think it's like a given. <laughs> like so many people love Star Wars. But it's a huge part of my life and it was nice to get to talk about that. I got interviewed about Galaxy's Edge which is the new theme park coming out in LA and Florida and it's 
not like anything Disney's done before. I'm really hoping I get invited so I can show you guys because it's like an actual role play experience. So they're hoping people will really get into like being and feeling like you are a character in Star Wars when you go there. You're gonna be able to ride the Millennium Falcon and they have this ride which is called Rise of the Resistance and it's like a full on role play experience where you get captured by the First Order. The ride's gonna be like half an hour long. They've just never done anything like this but that'll be like the thing I'm saving up for. And I think if I do get invited on a press trip, fingers crossed everyone please Please hope that I get invited on something. I want to do like full on cosplay. I want to go as a Star Wars character. I want to really do that opportunity to the extreme. So that's my hope. We got to see like a bunch of stuff in Galaxy Edge, but they're being so quiet about it and sneaky about it. They like don't want to reveal much, but we did get to hear some of the new music that's gonna be playing. <laughs> music but who knows if i'm gonna even get to go but i'll get to see other people's videos and stuff which is also really fun uh also also oh my god oh my god they had this like secondhand star wars clothes play and look at this romper i got it's like a children's extra large and it fit me i'm so happy because i have a thing about looking for high femme star wars merch and star wars clothes they just don't have any high femme stuff like Give me my pink Kylo Ren merch. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm doing this thing, I've been talking about it a little bit on Instagram, I'm trying not to buy anything. Like, I think people are a little bit addicted to buying stuff. Even the content I post on this channel, even involuntarily, can make people feel like you should be buying stuff all the time. Like, look, like I've just got so much stuff in the backgrounds of my videos, and I don't want people feeling like, oh, I just gotta buy things all the time, because everything I own, I, I want to keep it forever. Like, I'm, I don't want to ever throw stuff away. Everything I buy has to be, like, a thing that I'm gonna love and cherish my whole life because I don't want to be adding to landfills and promoting this idea that you should just be buying crap all the time. So I only bought two things at Star Wars Celebration which was this romper and I bought the limited edition celebration pin because obviously pins. But yeah I wanted to talk a little bit about the episode 9 trailer. I've got my theories. I think Rise of Skywalker which is a really annoying title honestly. I feel like it's designed solely to make everyone like stress out and be like what does that mean? But fine okay fine. I think Skywalker is probably gonna be a new type of Jedi like we're gonna be over with the Jedi and we'll start calling the like new Jedi's Skywalkers. That's my theory, that's a pretty popular theory. I'm probably gonna do like an actual Star Wars bingo close to the time. The main thing I wanna talk about is Mandalorian. Uh, so Mandalorian is coming out November 12th and it's gonna be the first ever live action Star Wars TV series. So Mandalorian's like, you know, Boba Fett, those people. We got to see like a special clip from The Mandalorian and oh my God, oh my God, this is what Rogue One could have been slash should have been. I love the animated Star Wars shows. Ahsoka is like easily my favorite Star Wars character and we've got a new season of Clone Wars coming out and Ahsoka's gonna take on Darth Maul and it's just like really exciting. Why are you here? <laughs> So my main Star Wars theory is actually that they're going to be pushing Ahsoka to the forefront. I'm kind of hoping they're going to remove Solo from the Solo franchise and it's going to be about Emphis Nest and Ahsoka, maybe? Because like if Darth Maul's her enemy and she kind of spans over that time frame, they could totally have a live action Ahsoka, possibly. And they also have the video game and I have a theory that uh, the lightsaber the guy has in the video game, because it's just after Order 66, which would be just after Revenge of the Sith, you know, the film that I always ignore and pretend doesn't exist. Uh, so it's just after Order 66 happened where, you know, Anakin becomes Darth Vader. So it's gonna be like 20 years later in the video game and you're playing a Padawan that escaped, so you're like a, a Jedi in training on the run. And you have a lightsaber and I saw it and I was like, Maybe Ahsoka gave it to him. Maybe Ahsoka's gonna be in the video game. But I might just have like a Ahsoka obsession. Um, so I just think she's gonna be in everything. But it would be really cool if that's why they were pushing her to the front so much and why they're bringing out the new Clone Wars season. Because if Darth Maul becomes, you know, Ahsoka's arch nemesis, it would make sense for her to show off in the live action. Ah! We also saw like so much weird merch. Like there is so much old weird Star Wars merch. Uh, <laughs> We saw like a slave layer perfume. I saw this weird drink which had like the spinal fluid of Watto. 
super weird and there was this whole box of like old dirty plastic crockery and I was like I love this I just love weird merch it's like my favorite thing I really hope I get to go to a Star Wars celebration again I know they're doing it in Anaheim next year I'm kind of sorry I didn't vlog it but also I just wouldn't have worked I like don't think I could have done it I guess I could have looked around some of the weird merch we found but I thought it would be more fun to just talk about Star Wars <laughs> oh I've literally got Kylo Ren and Rey in the background <laughs> so yeah, Mandalorian's gonna be great, the video game's gonna be great, the new season of Clone Wars is gonna be incredible, mostly because Ahsoka is really at the forefront this time, and Ahsoka is gonna be in everything. Whenever I say Ahsoka, I always think of Super Ahsokas. It's a good way to remember it. I feel like I've said everything I wanted to say about Star Wars, and thank you so much Disney for inviting me. You guys, I'm gonna link all of the like panels and things and trailers that you guys should check out below. This is the Star Wars year. This is the year of Star Wars, it feels like. And 2020 as well, because we've got like all the new trilogies coming out. Um, yeah, also links below to book tour tickets and also links to buy my books. Did you guys know there's actually a huge Star Wars reference in the Rosa Chronicles? The job title of somebody who pretends to be a royal so the royal can live their own life is called Portman after Star Wars. I thought I was either gonna go with like Natalie Portman or uh, Kira Knightley. They were either gonna be a Knightley or a Portman. I went with Portman. So canonically in this universe, it's named after a Star Wars thing. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like I've updated you guys and got all of my Star Wars excitement out of me. So I guess I'll see you guys for the moving vlog. Bye!